to my channel everyone and if you're new here thank you so much for joining me for today's video i am filming a what i eat in a day today mindful meals what i have been eating for the past three months since i've been on this like new journey this new self-love this new positive mindfulness journey these are the sort of foods I have been eating and I really wanted to share them with you because I know that in January we can all just get a bit caught up in restricting and not eating foods that we thoroughly enjoy because we are punishing ourselves from the Christmas period and that is not okay. So I'm sharing with you today what I eat in a day, being mindful, having a varied diet and eating as much nutritious dense meals i don't know if that's the right word to say as possible i just showed you my breakfast so i have been obsessed with the quaker golden syrup porridge things with raspberries and some mixed seeds it's beautiful i also always have a black coffee this is actually my first coffee of the day and it's literally like 10 o'clock which is bizarre for me let me tell you normally i wake up at six coffee straight away but black coffee and also a multivitamin so i've been taking these i want to say for the past month and a half mm. they actually taste good they're probably not the best multivitamins you can eat but those are the ones that were like just the most easy to get. So yeah, I have golden syrup Quaker porridge with mixed seeds and nuts, raspberries and some lotus biscoff spread. Yum. If you, if I ever have a morning or a day where I don't drink black coffee, you have to consider if there's seriously something wrong with me because I love coffee so much. I also have my water bottle here. I tried to get through one of these a day and no more because I've had I've read so many articles that drinking too much water is really bad for you. And I used to be the girl who used to drink like three of these to four of these a day and it's not good for you, okay? It really isn't. Just drink when you're thirsty, don't overdo it. Um because you end up basically like stripping your organs of stuff it needs. So if you're Wee's are always clear it's actually not a good thing do your research but yeah that's just what i've learned but i'm gonna go sit down and enjoy my breakfast and i will be back at lunchtime i don't ever snack between breakfast and lunch um because i don't ever feel hungry enough to but i will probably have a few more coffees so i'll be back when i have another coffee but until then i'm going to tuck into my gorgeous breakfast and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm about to make my favorite lunch ever. So my go-to at the minute has been a tuna crunch bagel. Um, I love tuna, I love bagels. I put it in the air fryer and it tastes banging. So I basically grab as much veg as I can to fill this out. I'll try and pan you down so you can see what I'm doing.
that's enough for me to have tomorrow as well. So that goes in the fridge and I put it in the air fryer on 200 for five minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just unreal. If you haven't had these, you need to try them, honestly. On bloody real. The good thing about these as well, add whatever like veg you like or salad you like. Sometimes I just do tuna and onion, to be honest. And yeah, this is lunch. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is actually really filling. So don't mind that. Um, and I'm also gonna make myself another coffee. Got the jerk chicken looks so good the mash and sugar snack peas i went for so that is dinner and i will be back for snacks because i never don't eat snacks so um i'll be back when i'm eating pudding but yeah this is dinner super excited hi pudding. bitches no pudding time is that what you're gonna say pudding time, pudding time. This is my choice of pudding every single night for the last... Week? No, longer than a week. No, not really. I think. Um, oh, I was uh, going to say no, month. It was, before, it was near Christmas. What? Wasn't it? No. No, it's been about a week. Okay. Yeah, because we're week. now on the second week of having it. We go through like two pots of yoghurt <laughs> every... Yeah. Well, I'd say you more than me, because you have it more than me. I have it every single night, because it's my favourite thing ever, and I thoroughly look forward to eating this every evening. So, thoroughly. what's my hair doing? You thoroughly? Like, yes, I thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoy it. Oh, that, that makes sense. Here it does. My battery's going to die. Anyway, in here is natural Greek yoghurt with my homemade granola. This recipe is in my weekly vlog, the latest weekly vlog and then some dark chocolate and i'm also going to have one of these fusion calm teas which is like vanilla and i really enjoy it so that is my pudding and that is all i will have for the day that's me done this and this Chef's kiss. Hate it when people. Do oh, that. why did you do that? Yeah, because it rhymed. I give yourself a nick. I actually did it, give myself a nick. Pick yourself. Yeah. Um. And I actually only had one cup of coffee today, so when I said I was going to have another one, I didn't actually end up having one. So, yeah. I am thoroughly. I keep saying that. I'm really excited to eat this. My camera is going to die, so. R.I.P. Thank you so much for watching this What I Eat in a Day. And I'll see you in my weekly vlog. Hi. <laughs>